guys, so I got a request to do a tutorial on how I did my makeup in my review on the Urban Decay Sustainable Shadow Box um, from Lottie Jaw 1996 I think, I don't know, there'll be an annotation right down there. And um, I'd use the Urban Decay Sustainable Shadow Box, so that's what I'm going to be using in this tutorial. I have um, one other eyeshadow that's not in here that I just use as a highlight, but it can be easily substituted for something else because um, it is from MAC but yeah so I absolutely adore this palette I've been using it for almost a week now well like five days and I absolutely love it I've been using it almost every day and yeah I would definitely recommend getting it as I said in my review but I've been using it for longer now and I really have no complaints about it it's really really nice so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial oh and before I forget okay my hair is different. I have it parted to the side because I just did a tutorial um, on how I did my hair in my matte automa or in my matte um, uh, matte everyday eyes tutorial or something like that. And it was parted to the side for that. And I just kind of left it like that. And I've wanted to school parted to the side kind of a little bit. And people have said it makes my face look different, but they don't see if it's a good or a bad different. So I wore my hair parted differently in this tutorial, so I want your guys' opinion. Does it look better like this, or how it's normally parted, where it's just like parted down the middle? Um, I'll insert a picture right here of what it normally looks like. Comment if you have an opinion. And yeah, all right, so the first thing that we're going to do is to prime our eyes. And this came with a palette. It's a mini Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's the cutest thing ever. And so I'm going to use this to prime my eyes, and I've been loving this product. I'm definitely going to repurchase it. The first color we're going to take is Half Baked, and this is just a really pretty shimmery gold color. Half Baked. And I'm just going to be using my SS239, and I'm going to take one side of this and get that in the Half Baked. Tap off any excess because this is a very shimmery eyeshadow and you don't want fallout. And I'm just going to apply that onto the inner half of my eye. Then I'm going to flip over my brush and I'm going to take this color right here, it's YDK, sorry, daily calls. So again, tap off any excess and we're going to apply that on the outer half of the eye. Work it into the crease. Now using our SS219 pencil brush, we're going to take this really pretty dark chocolatey shimmery brown, which is twice baked, see that, and we're just going to dot this in there a couple times, tap off any excess, and we're going to apply this right into the crease and outer corner, and just sweeping it in the tiniest bit. And that looks a little bit messy, but we're just going to, going to take our SS224 blending brush and blend it out and combine all the colors. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions and then circular motions in the outer corner. Just blend it all together. Then we're just going to look at the eyes and make sure they're even. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going to use a little bit more of the dark brown. So I'm just going to apply that in. Now we're going to apply a highlight. So in this palette, there aren't really any good highlight shades. They're all very shimmery or bright. So I'm just going to be using my MAC highlight that I've been in liking right now. And it's in Mylar, and it's just a very um, flesh tone matte color. Because with so much shimmer on the eye, you really don't need any extra in a highlight, and it's just going to take away from the overall look. So I'm just going to be using my SS275, it's just an angled brush. Tap that into Mylar, and apply this under our eyebrow. Then taking our SS266 angled brush, I'm going to get some more of Half Baked that into the inner corner down onto the lower lash line about one third of the way it's gone to about there I'm going to dip it into the twice baked tap off any excess and very lightly pat this into the rest of the lower lash line then I'm going to take my Stelly style eyeliner in black brown and it's just a very dark brown color and I like this because when it goes on, it goes on very dark, and yet it's still not as harsh as a black. 
So I'm just going to line my waterline with this. All right, now it's time to curl our lashes and apply some mascara. So I'm just using my Tweezerman eyelash curler, and I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Collagen Mascara. It just says L'Oreal on the tube, and it's just black. Um, but this mascara has a bunch of collagen in it, so it's going to make your lashes very, very volumized. And um, the brush is pretty big, and the formula looks a bit clumpy, but it really isn't, I promise. So I'm just going to apply that onto my lashes. And the nice thing about this is you can apply coat after coat after coat, and it's not going to get clumpy. It's just going to volumize them more and more. I'm going to take what's left over on my brush, and I'm going to get it onto the lower lash line. And for lips, I'm going to be using my favorite combination, which is Victoria's Secret Femme Lipstick, which is a very neutrally nude color. With Victoria's Secret Lip Gloss in Beautiful on top. It's a pretty pink color, so it gives you a very polished nude lip. And for cheeks, all I have on is Max Blush in Dainty. I think this is a great look for just every day. Um, it's kind of warm and cozy for, you know, colder, wintry days. But it can also transform into a great summer look if you're going to the beach because it's very bronzy and really pretty. So I absolutely love this look. Thank you for requesting, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.